All right, so I'm just going to lead on in right now because I don't know the title of my own podcast. How about that? So this is Elon B. King, and I am the host of the Understanding a Man podcast, and I want to thank you guys so much for just joining us, whether it's morning, noon, afternoon, or whatever. Uh, We are just going to come on board just really quickly and kind of share just a couple of nuggets for you this evening, this morning, this afternoon. So thank you guys so much for joining us. You can continue to follow us at Elon B. King on all platforms. And thank you so much for those who have subscribed on YouTube and the multiple podcast channels. Thank you so much. I'm excited. I'm going to keep on diving in because this is our part two of our discussion with Dr. Eddie Connor. This man is up here rocking and rolling uh, in the Detroit area. And so thank you so much to Dr. Connor for just joining us this evening. He has an amazing book, sexy cover, y'all. Y'all got to see it in just a second, right? (laughs) Netflix, y'all need to just go on and make this thing a series. And also has an amazing conference that he has called Access Identity that's going to be August 5th. But I'm just going to let him tell y'all about that. But thank you guys so much for joining. Listen, the guests that I have here, you know, you're talking about the man got like 15 books, y'all. You know, I, I mean, you're talking about every time I see him on social media, the nuggets that he's dropping, I call him like the dolomite of like uh, uh, of the relationship area because he just dropped like them one and two liners and you'd be like, whoa, right? So super excited to have him on today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to get out the way really quickly. I want to give him an opportunity of just sharing who he is and then we're going to dive on into his latest book and kind of talk about a couple of things. So my man out of Detroit, Dr. Eddie Connor, how you doing today, sir? Always an honor, brother. Always an honor to share on your show. You speak truth to power. You enlighten us. You inspire us. So uh, we we in a better place simply because yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you so much, man. Um, you know, I, I, I want our audience to know who you are. So if you can just take a moment to share just who you are, where you're from, how can people follow you? And then we got to dive into this book because I need them to see the cover, the, the sexy oh, cover. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you got me rethinking <laughs> my next book. The sexy, the cover is sexy, y'all. But go ahead, sir. Let them know who you are. That means a lot coming from you. Uh, I, I, I live by the, the credo, surface is the rent we pay for the space we occupy. And so... Um, see, I told y'all, see, do you see what he just did? You see how he did that real quick? Y'all, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> No, I've, I've, I pride myself on being a servant leader, and that is uh, because uh, all of the things that I've been through, whether it's cancer, uh, stage four cancer as a kid, beating that, bouncing back from setbacks, discovering my purpose in the midst of pain, uh, knowing mm-hmm. that what was painful became purposeful for my life, and then tra- parlaying that into a number of multiple books, as well as mentoring organizations that I've developed to really empower our young men. And then also uh, developing a, a, a community, a, a gathering, a conference that's going to take place later this year, we'll, which we will talk about. Man, before we go any further, I don't want to skip past. And I just recently lost a good friend that, you know, I know of Miss Stacy Revere. You know, she lost the battle to cancer. And I'm so excited mm-hmm. that, you know, you're able to stand here today. And, she, you know, she lost her life to breast cancer. And so... You know, I just, you're able to stand here today in front of us, uh, stage four, you said that it was? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. And, wow. you know, you, you know, you turn, turned a challenge into a complete triumph and uh, able to sit in front of us today, man. So I want to just, just, I don't know whether to say thank you or just, you know, just, uh, we appreciate just that level of testimony. They, and, and you guys, you can actually go back to, you got to go back a couple of episodes. I think it was last year when we talked mm-hmm. and Dr. Mm-hmm. Connor just kind of broke down all of that. So I don't want to go too deep into that, man. But, you know, you you coming through that battle and that struggle, that's huge, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's by the grace of God because I lost an aunt to it. I lost a cousin to it. I lost one of my best friends to it. Uh, I'm living through dying places and sometimes you have survivor's guilt about it. And so I think getting a second chance is life. You got to do more uh, Mm. in the second half of your life than you ever did in your first half. Man. And when I talk about doing more and in the second half of this two two part series that we're just doing right now, speaking with Dr. Connor, he is out here and has developed, you know, written the most recent book that he has coming out, I think, June 15th. Um, who yes, can sir. find a faithful 
man. Because we always talk about, you know, finding a virtuous woman, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody out here talking about who can find a faithful <laughs> man. I haven't heard, but you are the first person I've ever heard talk about wow. that, right? Wow. And so, you know, even just the, the verse or whatever. So, so uh, where did this book come from? How did you develop it? And then if you could just, uh, you know, just kind of talk about uh, maybe one of your favorite chapters that we can just kind of talk about. I know we were talking about man of your word earlier or whatever, mm-hmm. but you know, where does this book come from? How did you come with it? What are, what are you looking to do here? Yeah, it, it comes from the place of society and just our purposeful rearing seemingly has always uh, prided women on uh, being prepared and men are unprepared. It seems as if we're preparing women for unprepared men. When do you think about the record? Okay. All right. Don't let that slip by. <laughs> no, no, no. Because here's the thing. You and I, let's just take a moment. I mean to cut you off, but I just want to say that. Because you and I, you know, we're, we're, we, we will check both sides, right? We'll check right. the women and check the men, right? And so mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want that to slip by, but we're preparing unprepared women for unprepared men. How did you say? What did you say? Say that again. We're that was kind of funny. We're preparing women for unprepared men. Ooh. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Because you think about from the inception of a woman's life to from the womb to the tomb, she's mm. been preparing. The prom was the prelude for the wedding. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, us right, right, brothers, right. You know, us as brothers, hey, we, we playing games and a lot of times we, we do that even as we, as we age. Sir. And don't grow out of it. And so uh, I wanted to tackle two particular scriptures, Proverbs 31, verse 10, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 20 verse 6, we hear about Proverbs 31 verse 10 all the time. From right. Churches to conferences, from panels to podcasts. Who can find a virtuous woman? Mm-hmm. Don't talk about Proverbs 20 verse 6, who can find a faithful man. 20 comes before 31. And here's the thing. Sisters okay. want brothers to be, brothers want sisters to be virtuous, but mm-hmm. sisters want brothers to be faithful. Come but on. both sexes are asking the question, who can find? Okay. And it and it goes beyond just preference. Now it moves into a place of purpose because as you get older, all of the other stuff, the temptations told you it was a temptation. Beauty is only skin deep. Come on, right? So I need some real value there that's going to bring about sustainability because we've mm-hmm. become so enamored on the wedding, but not the marriage. The wedding is a sprint. The marriage is a marathon. And the fact of the Come matter, on. carrots without character is chaotic. I told y'all. See, y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Okay, keep going, sir. Keep going. (laughs) (laughs) And so I really wanted to write this book to kind of give an ode to us as men about what it takes to create a level of emotional intelligence, Mm -hmm. uh, step into a place of vulnerability, accountability, create healthy boundaries, but also finding faithfulness to live, lead, and love with Mm. loyalty. Listen, let's dive in really quickly about just give me uh, give, give me your your synopsis of you have a chapter in there called Man of Your Word. And I want to preface yeah. this by saying this is something I hear with not only with my clients that I work with, but just also just across the board. You see it on social media, whatever women talking about man, a man being a man of their word, them having that level of consistency. And I, don't, I haven't had a chance to read the book, but I'm just going to imagine that it has something to do with being consistent, uh, something to do with you know, not only speaking it, but your actions. They always say that, uh, uh, let's say men listen to the things women say, women listen, women watch the things men do, Mm. right? And so, you know, that man being consistent with his actions, right? Um, So I'm not going to put words inside of your book. So, you know, talk to us about what, what is man of your word? What is that chapter even about in your book? Yeah, man of your word is really about uh, imbibing a level of trustworthiness, reliability, dependability on the whole aspect of what manhood and masculinity is all about. I -hmm. think as a man, your words and your works have to align. Mm -hmm. Right, right. The the fruit of your actions is connected to the root of who it is that you are in your character. Okay. So beyond just saying something, what are we doing and how are our words and our works aligned to where it expresses the fact that we can be the provider, we can be the provisionary, we can be the protector and the priest of our home. Mm-hmm. And so when you when you have a man that is void, when you take a man out of a community, when you take a man out of a family, you mm-hmm. see there's nothing but dismay and decay. 
mm. which is why oftentimes the the state of black America is where it is because that was by design. Mm. And so when a man gets back into his place of his calling, when he now is illuminated with his vision, what he's saying and what he's doing are aligning together. Because right. He wants to be the place to where strength. You think about the word husband, the word husband really becomes house band. It is to where you are the wraparound services of your home. Okay. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. House yeah. band. Okay. I yeah. got to write that Husband, down. house house band. Yeah. yeah. House band and wraparound, but go ahead. Yeah. You, you, be, you become the strength. You become the entity to where you can stand in front of the storm mm -hmm. and st speak to the storm and say, peace, be still, because you understand what the champion that is on the inside of you. And you know, understand that the power of what it is that you do as a leader. So what if for there are some, there might be a select few of men that are listening right now. This has just jumped into my head of, you know, I want to lead. All right. I want to be the provider. I want to, you know, step up. And so maybe my fathering is one thing that I'm able to walk in and do or whatever, but I'm not able to be the prov the provider i'm not able to you know i'm not i might not be inside of my purpose right now i might be trying to find myself out right and so sometimes there's a um a there's an embarrassment that could exist there for some men um because i'm not being the man the man that i i not only that i want to be but that others are saying that i need to be right what do i do how do i align my thoughts with you know, my actions looking like what my thoughts are, because sometimes my thoughts might be one thing. And I know I'm kind of putting you on the spot, but I just wanted to talk mm -hmm. about that because there's a man that's out there right now. That they want to do better. They want to do better. They're telling maybe their, their, their significant other, their wife, their girlfriend, whatever. I want to do better, but they're, they're missing that mark. What's the, what's, what's the bridge? What's the connection there of how from my thoughts to actually going to do and being the man of the word, where do you, where's, what's that bridge right there? Yeah. Dr. King said the true measure of man is not where he stands in times of convenience, but where he stands in times of crisis and controversy. Mm. And a lot of times our brothers are caught in the chasm of crisis and controversy. And I think what we have to do is not lash out. We have to go within. I think we've got to ask ourselves and calculate the decisions through questions about what am I doing to invest in myself? Am I solely focused on the external, but not the internal? Am I avoiding uh, right. the trauma and the, the, the things that I need to deal with and grapple with on the inside? How have I grappled with my mother wounds and my father wounds? Mm. Have I forgiven the people? Have I forgiven myself? Mm. And I think when we do the inductive and the internal, the dirty work internally, we'll be able to gauge and understand that everybody on the outside is not our issue. You keep saying the word issue, issue, you will wind up slipping and saying it's you. And so when we actually look at okay, ourselves right. and hold the mirror up. <laughs> Sorry, we hold the I'm mirror typing. Up, yeah. <laughs> issue equals it's you. Okay. Issues, I like that issues, one. issues, issues. It's you. It's you. Come on. It's you. Oh, yeah. come on. And, Write and that one down, that, folks. Yeah. That was you. <laughs> that was yeah. you. It's you. It's you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. We'll never have any sustainability without the power of accountability. And yeah. when we hold the mirror up to actually look at the man in the mirror, it's more than just a song. It actually ought to be where our words and our work come together. Mm -hmm. We take off that mask beyond the muscles, the Mercedes, the phone book full of ladies, and say, all right, you know what? There's a hurting boy internally inside of me. I wasn't affirmed. I wasn't loved. I didn't see my father there. I had issues with my mama. Men in my life didn't stand up, didn't step right. up for me. I didn't have mentorship. How do I right. reparent myself now? Because I can't keep going through life playing the blame game. Because a right. lot of times we're just grown, we become grown infants. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 And I think... <clears throat> See, I was back on MJ in my head because I was like, MJ was onto something when he put that man in the mirror. Like, mm -hmm. I'm starting yeah, yeah. with the man yeah, in the, the mirror. In the I'm mirror. asking him to change, change his, his ways. ways. Right. And no message, oh, hold on, could have been any clearer. All right. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make that change. And I didn't even understand it when we were singing it back in the day. But from man to man, 
um because i have being in that space of 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 not knowing but i was actually out here doing and thought i was doing and i was not walking inside of the purpose that god had for me mm-hmm. being inside of that space of you know what other people thought that okay you know you're providing and, and for your family and you're living like this but in actually inside there was a turmoil that was going on inside of me because i was missing something i was missing walking inside of the talent that god had for me that was a happy that surpassed far beyond whatever i thought that i had in front of me and so based upon and i want to share this with any man that's listening right now uh, what dr connor is saying with regard to taking a look inside of yourself when you find that level of happy it surpasses all the sex it surpasses mm-hmm. all of the you know the the accolades or whatever the, the the bling or what or whatever that you drive or whatever there's no happiness that's bigger and better than when you walk inside of your purpose would you agree with me on, on that dr connor oh totally uh, because when you win from within is when you can walk on your purpose uh, without mm-hmm. a doubt and i think your greatest work will not be done by you or for you it'll be done within you mm. greater is he that's within you and just mm. like you were talking about all those other ancillary things the money the sex the the women the, the alcohol all that stuff the partying right, right, right none of that will be a fulfillment it'll be a sedative come on it'll be an escapism uh, i like that sedative i like that yeah, i like that yeah, yeah. i like but that it, it'll uh-huh. never be the bomb to where it really gives you the 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 style to soothe the wounds of what it is that you're experiencing and here it is you will just continue to bleed on people who didn't cut you because you're not healed oh say that again one more time yeah, please yeah, sir yeah yeah can you say, can you say that one more time you, you you will bleed on people who didn't cut you when you're not healed hurting people hurt people but healed people will heal other people right and that's why sometimes, men, you might have a gem that's in front of you, but you're bleeding out mm-hmm. on that person, yep. right? Be- yep. Because yep. you're cut from the past and you're bringing that. Mm-hmm. You went in your DeLorean and went back to the future. And now you have Ooh. this wonderful creature that's in front of you right now. And you're bleeding out all in front of her. And you want her to hit the patience button. You want her to give you that level of grace. And I get it. But that's the reason why I share with people that, you know, it's actually rude to walk into a committed relationship when you have not identified and walk within, you know, who you are and where you're going to go. You haven't created the vision mm-hmm. to allow her to sign up for where you want to go. We want women to follow, but wow. we're not leading ourselves. And so that's what I'm gathering from what you're saying. Would I be wrong? You're totally right. You're totally right. You hit the nail on the head with the hammer. Uh, you can't expect her to follow you if you don't know where you're going. Right. Because here's the thing. When you don't know where you're going, she's going to take the lead. And that's where we have an issue. Oh, she's taking the lead. But what are you doing to show the sign that you Come can on. lead? Come on. Come on. Yeah. And, and so sure let's let's shift to, so not only did you write this mm-hmm. book, but then you also have a conference that's coming out really quickly. So before we wrap up, I want to uh, give you an opportunity of just, you're not only just putting this inside of a book, you're going out into our community a conference that you have talk to us about about not only how you, you you have this book but now you're taking it somewhere talk to us about where you're taking this on the conference oh i'm taking you to a to the acme of self-development of self-discovery uh it's all about increasing your ideas your impact and your influence uh, we have so many ideas that we have wrapped up inside of our mind and the tragedy and really the the frustration is when you can't birth it Mm. You can't bring it to fruition. And so mm. I want to show people how to, how to birth those ideas. Take those ideas and turn the income, the context, and the contracts, the impact as well. We, well, we focus so much on making an income, but I believe mm. we have to make an impact. And I believe if you help people get what they want, you'll get what you want. It's not mm. so much about success. What is success without significance? There is no success without a true successor. You talk about influence mm. as well. Uh, Dr. John Maxwell said uh, the most... Uh, introverted of us will influence at least 10,000 people over the course of our life. That's Leadership you. is true influence. Yes, so sir. I'm connecting kingdom and community, merging ministry in the marketplace so that people can turn their, their ideas and their influence and their impact into a, a greater increase in their life. And here's what I'm doing. Because you're listening, because you connected to my man, 100 grand, uh, Elam B. King, I'm calling every king and every queen to Come sign on. up, to register right now. 
accessidentity.org. And at checkout, here's the hookup. I'm giving you $50 off simply just by registering to join us in the city of Detroit. That's awesome. Uh, as you put in the access code, you put in the code access. Okay. You get $50 off. Uh, August the 5th, save the date, Access Identity Conference in the city of Detroit, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. that day. August 5th, I'm in the building with my man, Dr. Eddie Connor. I'm super excited. Not only is he writing about it, but he's going out and just having and, and, and teaching. And so you need to be in the building. And 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 just so we can completely understand, uh, should should uh, maybe the, the sons be there? Should single moms bring their sons? Should, um, you know, so, uh, fathers bring their daughters? Um, should people come as a family? Uh, you know, gr- what, what age bracket? What, who, if, if, who, who should be coming? If you're 18 and up and you have a vision, I want you there. Bring your friend okay. brother, bring your sorority sister, bring your coworker, bring your church member, bring your house, bring, bring the people in, the, bring your spouse, bring, right. bring your, your bae, your boo, your loved ones, whoever it may be. If you have a vision and you're really serious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the side dude, in the side chick, maybe they, maybe they might get it right. I'm, I'm just joking about that. <laughs> if, if you're really serious about really increasing your ideas, your impact and influence, this is the conference that is tailor made for you. This is what you've been looking for and you didn't even know it, but I'm showing it to you so you can step into your value. Dr. Connor, I really appreciate you just coming on board and just sharing this. You're 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 gonna have to come back on here because uh, I need them one liners, you know. Oh man, you got you, I need yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this man is forever. Um, from the first time that I met him, I know uh, you know, last year when we met, I mean, I know August 5th, you have an amazing, you know, the access identity. I, I really appreciate you, and I just want to say thank you for what you're doing in the community. Don't stop. Uh, please continue to do so because we need you. We need, uh, you know, we can joke uh, all day about some of the nuggets that you're dropping, but you're actually doing that in a natural sense. And mm-hmm. it's impactful what you're doing out here. And we need that. There is there is not enough black men speaking. There's not enough. Mm-hmm. Right. We cannot. And that's one of the reasons why I just want to share with people. You know, Dr. Connor and myself, we're, we're in the same space. And guess what? There's no compete. You know why? Because both of us know that there's not enough of us out here talking. He talking in Detroit. I'm in Atlanta. Yes, social media might share it all over the world, but we need somebody in Florida. We need somebody in Alabama. We need somebody in Texas. We, we need five people and t- 10 people and 20 people inside of each here. Does, there's not enough of us out here speaking. And so I'm super excited. And I know that there's lives that are going to be changed August 5th. And so I want to I want to personally say thank you so much. I learned so much from you and I want you I want you to know that what you're doing out here is impactful and please continue to do so. How can people find you and, and, and attach themselves, uh, follow, subscribe, whatever? How can people, you know, I know you just told us about the conference or whatever, but how can people follow you so that they can continue to get more information about you? Listen, I appreciate you, brother, because you are empowering and you're impacting and you're influencing my life and so many other lives. And so I uh, know that your work, that your labor is not in vain. Uh, your labor is leading to greater favor. And so as you, as you continue to be faithful, I'm guaranteeing you and speaking over your life that everything that you touch will be fruitful. Uh, I perceive that. Thank this, you. Yes, sir. Um, you can connect with me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Eddie Connor, J-R, E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R-J-R. I want you to connect with me on the Access Identity Conference. Go to www.accessidentity.org. Register for the conference. It's going to be an incredible experience for you. This is the, an encounter of power is what it's going to be. And right. uh, you'll receive the $50 off discount at checkout as you put in the word access. Can't wait to see your face in the place. Hey, listen, let, and let me tell you, he's a little old school, y'all, because don't nobody say WWW no more. Don't nobody do that. You know <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank God so much for joining us on the Unsteady Man podcast. Thank you so much for my guest, Dr. Eddie Connor. You got an amazing conference coming. Be in the building August 5th uh, for the Access Identity Con- uh, Conference. And of course, we have the Who Can Find a Faithful Man book that's coming out on June 15th. 
this yes, can, can you show us the sexy come on the sexy cover oh, come yeah. on oh, yeah. cover come yeah. on listen the that's going to whole... call you to recover <laughs> <laughs> that's <real. laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Dr. Connor. And thank you guys so much for joining as well. Continue to like and share. Um, follow me on all platforms at Elam B. King. And you can always go over to ElamBKing.com to find out anything that we have going on or whatever. Thank you guys so much. You have an amazing evening, night, morning, or whatever. And stay tuned because, hey, listen, Dr. Connor coming back because, you know, y'all saw him dropping them little nuggets. With, yeah. Coming in high. Right, Dr. Connor, we need some more. I'll work on him in the meantime. Appreciate you, sir. Nice with the flow. Just like the demeanor. Uh oh.